Power Query Editor. Does it sound familiar? What's up, guys? This is Nestor Adrian Sen. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Yes, today we're going to talk about Power Query Editor. If you're not familiar with this tool, don't worry. I'm going to walk you through this powerful tool, guys. Hey, but before we get started, could you please do me a favor? If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do it because you don't want to miss anything, right? All right, guys, no more talking and let's dig in. So today I'm going to walk you through five different points here. So the first point, we're going to learn about this tool, the Power Query Editor, and also its uses, OK? The second point, I'm going to teach you how to find this tool in Excel 2016. The third point, we're going to get more familiar with this tool. The fourth point, I'm going to teach you how to edit two different tables. And finally, the fifth point, we're going to combine these two tables, guys. This is going to be fun, and let's keep going. All right, right here there is a definition. So the Power Query Editor is an Excel tool that allows you to import data into Excel from different sources with the purpose of cleaning and transforming data. That is absolutely true, guys. Its uses, I have right here four. There might be more, but just for this exercise, we have four, OK? Also, guys, I wanted to let you know that this Power Query Editor tool is frequently used in Power BI. And guess what? My next tutorial is going to be about Power BI. Let's keep going. I'm going to teach you guys how to find the Power Query Editor in Excel 2016. So right here, we have two different options. So the first one, let's go to Data, New Query, from File, from Workbook. And then right here, you pick the file that you want to import. In this case, select Population, Transform Data. Boom. There you guys have it. That's the window, and then you can see many options there to start editing your table. So we're going to close it because we don't need it yet. All right. The next option is by using a table. So we have right here a table. This is just for the example. And then let's make sure that you are inside of that table. It doesn't matter where you are at, but you should be inside, OK? right here from data and then from table. Boom, there you guys have it. There is the table and then you can start editing as well. Let's close it. All right, let's keep going. So now let's get familiar with this powerful tool. So we're gonna use this option to get the Power Query Editor window. Data, new query, from file, from workbook, and then let's import total population with projections. And then let's select total population, transform data. There you guys have it. So right here, we have the Power Query Editor window, correct? This window has five different parts. We have right here, File, we have Home, Transform, Add Column, and View. And we're going to go through these five parts in more detail, OK? Let's leave File to the end. Let's start with Home. For Home, there is an option right here, Close and Load. So this means that after you finish editing your table, you can select this option, and then you can click Close and Load. Another powerful tool here is the Remove Columns option. So you have right there two options, Remove Columns, or you can also use Remove Other Columns. Another very useful tool is this one right here, Use First Row as Headers. So if we see this table, the row one should be the headers, correct? And that's why you should use this tool right here. Please keep that in mind. You can also edit the headers. Let's say you want to change the name, whatever name you want to put right here, you can change it. Double click, and then you can start changing names. You can also merge queries right here. This option right here, we're going to use in this exercise as well. You can merge queries, two or more queries. So we're going to use that tool as well. What else? Replace values. Let's say that you want to replace the name of a country. 
you select the country column and then you go to right here, replace values, and then you can find the value and then you can replace with another name. We cancel it because we don't want to make any changes yet. So right here, every time you see ABC, this means that this column is text. Every time you see one, two, three, this means that it's a whole number. And also you can see right here, the data type right here. There are different types of data, right? Decimal number, currency, whole number, percentage, date, time, etc. All right, I think we are done with the hum part. Let's go to transform. So right here, there are two really, really nice tools. It is an option called unpeeled columns. So this means that columns get reorganized as rows. So I'm going to give you more details at the end of this tutorial about this tool. Okay. Another awesome tool is, is statistics as well. Of course, statistics works with numbers, right? In this case, we have right here numbers. Let's say that you want to find the average. You basically select the column and then you hit average. Okay, that's how it works. So let's go to the other part of this window, add column. You can use this option right here. It says duplicate column. Let's say that you want to duplicate this column. You select the column first, and then you hit duplicate column. Boom, you have two different columns with the same data. The other really important tool right here is the index column. This also means that you can add an index column, right? And you can start from zero, from one, or you can also customize your beginning. All right, finally, view. So right here, the go to column, this tool is very useful. Let's get that. This is very useful if you have many columns, for example, like, like this example, right? Let's say you wanna add to column 68. So like 68, boom, 68, right away. See, that's how it works. Before I forget, we haven't talked about file yet. And this is very important, guys. So right here, let's select close and load to. And we're going to select only create connection. Keep that in mind, please. Why? Because after you edit your table, you have two options. You can have your new data as a table, or you can only create a connection. So for this exercise, we're going to use both, but first we're going to use only create connection. Okay. Keep that in mind, please. All right. Let's cancel this because we don't want to make any changes yet. So there you also have more information about the parts of the Power Query editor window. Let's keep going, guys. So now let's edit tables. This is going to be fun, guys. All right. We're going to use the same strategy that we used before data from new query from file from workbook and then let's import this table total population with projections let's select total population transform data and then let's start playing with this awesome tool guys let's make it, let's make it bigger so right here let's use this row as headers boom let's change the name right here double click this is country, correct? Boom. As you can see right here, ABC, this is text, 1.2, this is decimal. When you see one, two, three, that's whole number, okay? For the total population table, we only care for four years, 2010, 2011, 2012, and 2013, okay? And we're gonna do something really cool here, guys. Let's select country, let's press control, don't release control yet, and then let's hit 2010, 2011, 12, and 13. All right. So now let's go to remove columns and then let's remove others. See, that's awesome, guys. We can make another change right here. We only care for numbers, so we don't care for nulls. And boom, there you guys have it. All right, something additional that I wanted to share with you guys. On the right side of your screen, you can see right here the applied steps. So every step that we perform has been recorded here. Let's say that you don't care about the last step. Boom, delete it. Control Z doesn't work here, okay? So let's go back and change this because we don't care about nodes. All right, guys, and then that's all we have. Let's go to File, 
close and load to only create connection okay and then load boom we have the connection right there all right let's keep going let's edit the next table data new query from file from workbook life expectancy import life expectancy transform data and then let's edit this table as well same right here use first row as headers let's change the name right here let's call this country because our countries right for this table we only care for two years 2014 and 2015 so let's select country let's look for 2014 and 15. it's right here remember press control and then select 2014 2015 and then go to remove columns and remove other columns boom there you guys have it as you can see right here 1.2 means that this information is in a decimal format we also don't care about nulls let's hit that right here and hit okay boom after we have this table let's go right here close load to only create connection boom on the right side of your screen you can see the life expectancy connection as well also guys i forgot to tell you before but this data comes from gapminder.org slash data also i'm going to share with you the files all right let's keep going guys finally guys we're going to combine these two tables all right so before we do that let's duplicate the, the main table which is total population select that right click and then duplicate as you can see right here number two this means that this table has been duplicated so we're going to join total population with life expectancy all right so remember that we mentioned about this tool right here merge queries right so let's select that merge queries right here and then we have right here total population and we're going to join with life expectancy and then the next step is to find a connection between these two tables of course the connection is country in both tables next we need to understand what kind of join we're looking for okay so in this particular case we're going to use left other so there are many options there but just for this particular exercise we're going to use left other i'm going to give you guys a venn diagram so in that way we, you can understand this join better okay hit okay boom now you can see a new column right there if you hit these two errors you can select right here Let's select only 2014 and 2015. Let's edit this one right here. This is 2014, right? Let's add right here an asterisk. Double click right here. An asterisk as well. Boom. Every time we see an asterisk, that means that that's life expectancy. Okay. All right. So that's it, guys. And now, because this is the final table, so we go to file close and load two so now we want to have a table with the final changes right that makes sense right then we hit load boom there you guys have it okay there is something else that i wanted to tell you guys here i did it in purpose you can also see right here for 2014 and 2015 blank spots right so and we don't want to have that so let's go back to the query and edit that part so right here for 2015, we don't care about nulls. See, now this looks better, right? And then we go right here, close and load. You can see the changes right here as well. That's awesome, guys. All right. I remember that I talked about bonus. So the bonus is, let's say that you want to apply a pivot table here. So in order to apply a pivot table, so you might want to reorganize these years. So this year should be part of the rows. So how do we do that? It's very simple, guys. Let's go back to this query right here, double click. And then right here, let's select the years. And then let's go to transform and build columns. And boom, we reorganize the table. And then let's go home, close and load. Boom. You can also see the changes right there. Now you can apply a pivot table. Go to insert, pivot table, and boom, you have it right there all right guys that was it i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial 
Remember that this tutorial is an introduction to Power BI, which is going to be my next tutorial. That's why, guys, I encourage you to learn this powerful tool. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If so, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, please leave your comments below, leave your questions below, and I will be more than happy to answer them. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.